All right, guys, I'm at Tesco and I found something which is kind of new. I've never seen this at Tesco before, so I just thought maybe I should make something with that. So, another recipe is coming up. Let me just grab two of these and I'm having some ideas. I know what to make with this, and then I'll share some recipes with you guys. Oh my gosh, I have used this mask like a hundred times, it's always in my pockets. And um, look at that, it looks disgusting. Maybe I need to wash it again, or maybe I need a new one, I don't know. Okay, so we finally have these. So I got two of these, I really want to share um, a little recipe. I do have an idea what I want to do. I'm going to make some chicken filling with that, put some capsicum and some cheese on top. Kind of make it like into like a pizza. It's probably supposed to be salty. It has salt, so there's no sugar, so it's not going to be sweet. So I have to do something salty with that. So I'm here with another recipe. I'm going to make something with that. So let me share the ingredients with you guys. So let's start. So here's the ingredients that we need. Well, first of all, these are the pastry cases, as you guys know, that I got. I have only two of them. Now I'm thinking I should have gotten one more, but that's okay. We have two of these. The idea that I had was I'm going to do something with chicken. This is half a kg of shredded chicken, boiled and shredded. We do need a little bit of green chili, as well as a little bit of coriander, if you have. I don't have it right now, so I'm going to skip that. We do need some cheddar cheese. I think this is less, so I might need some more. But yes, these are sliced cheddar cheese pieces. If you have shredded cheese, obviously that's better. You do need half a cup milk. I have some raising flour in there, about one spoon. Then we probably need some tomato puree, you know, just to make it like into a paste as our first layer. Or I might even use passata sauce, I don't know, we'll see. Um, we need some black pepper, obviously salt, and we need some Italian herbs. This is like a mix of, you know, oregano, parsley, basil, thyme, sage, pepper, bay leaf. It's like a perfect flavor, which I really want. Here is some things for garnishing. I love bay leaf. They just look pretty and they also give like everything a really nice flavor. We do have some capsicum, some tomato slices. We have some black olives. And now let's start. So first things first, I'm going to put some oil in here. And we're going to saute our onion. And we also have some ginger here. I'm going to saute that until it's kind of like, you know, a little transparent, a little golden. So let's do that. So we're going to prepare our chicken mix, basically. This is going to be the filling that we're going to use. I am quite happy with the color now. It's kind of transparent, a little golden, you know. You don't want to make it too dark, by the way. Otherwise, it just becomes more like a desi dish. And I don't want this to taste very desi. So now I'm going to add some green chili and i also have some frozen mint leaves here you don't have to do this but i was just feeling a little minty so i just added some of those actually if you add coriander that's a better option saute the green chilies a bit more this adds a really nice flavor now that that's done i'm gonna add some pink salt as well as some pepper half a spoon each but obviously that depends on your taste you can add a little more later if you need now I'm going to add my shredded chicken in there and keep cooking this on medium to low heat. Now once that's sauteed, I'm going to add the mixture of milk and flour and mix this so it turns into like a thick paste. This smells so yummy already. Now that it's cooking, I'm going to add my Italian herbs into that. You can also use, by the way, only oregano. It's obviously your choice. But I love to have the option of these Italian herbs because it, it has like a mixture of so many herbs that are necessary. And I love the taste of that. I added some more black pepper. I'm also going to add like a handful of red capsicum in there. And this mixture is actually ready. I don't want to cook the capsicum too much because I like it a little crunchy. And plus we're gonna bake this anyway, so it's gonna cook nicely. And there you go, our filling is done. It's nice and thick and it tastes so Italian. All we used is salt, pepper, and that's that. Okay, I have opened one tray. This is the pastry tray that I got from Tesco. It does say that you have to use, I mean, you have to bake this for 45 minutes if it's like an egg-based filling. And because mine is not egg-based, everything is pretty much cooked anyway, so I probably believe it's going to be done way before 45 minutes. Probably in 30 minutes we should be done with this, so let's start. 
So what I'm going to do here first, I'm going to use a little bit of tomato puree because obviously I love the taste of it so much. About one tablespoon on each side. Also about one spoon of passata. I hope I'm pronouncing it right, but a little bit of that too. And then just spread it on the tray, you know, and then fill it with the filling basically. <laughs> gonna put a little bit of cheese slices here and there Yummy. I just love everything a little bit more cheesy and now I'm gonna go ahead and start putting my filling into it spread it out evenly you just have to make sure the filling obviously tastes perfect because then you can't go wrong right so your salt and pepper it has to be perfect ratio and a little bit of herbs and it's honestly it's perfect that's enough at the end i'm just gonna cover the whole bit up with some cheese this is the best i could do with the cheese because i don't have shredded cheddar cheese all i have is this block so i'm trying to cut it thinly and then cover it up here that's all right now we have to work with that Okay, we managed. So now that's done. Next thing I wanted to do was just a little bit of garnishing. So this is what I had in mind. So I'm just going to use one of these rounded capsicum slices. Maybe put a little tomato in the middle. Like this. Some olives here and there. I'm not sure if I should put another layer of cheese, but that was so hard to do in the first place. So I'm just going to not do it anymore. This is it. And a little bay leaf here and there. I think one is enough. Or maybe two leaves. But no. I think bay leaves sometimes can be very strong, you know? So I think just one is enough. I'm gonna put that in the oven. Let's see how long that takes. I need to clean my oven, don't judge me. Alright, so let's take a look. We're getting there. And it's time for some tea. I think it's just one of those things you have to be a little careful with cutting it because obviously this is not a pizza it's more like a pastry so you see how the pastry kind of scrambles but it tastes so good amar do you like it yeah i love it did you it's taste great. it yes are you having it with ketchup or without without i would just actually take a fork on a spoon and just go right in that's how i would eat it thank you so much guys for watching the recipe make sure you do subscribe thank you bye She calls me day and night I'm sorry girl, you just don't make me feel right